Hey guys, this is Spencer with How To Firearms. Today, we're gonna work on cleaning a Glock pistol. Whether it's a Glock 9mm, your Model 19, a 40 in the Model 22, or 10 mil in the 20, it's, uh, they're basically all the same firearm internally. There's not very much variation, even from the Gen 2, 3, 4, 5, they're pretty much all the same firearm with just little nuance, small material changes, etc. So today we're gonna focus on the 22 right here. It's the same frame, same size, everything is your Model 17 in between the two. That's gonna be the vast majority of what you're gonna see law enforcement and uh, militaries throughout the world carrying. So, for all you safety Nazis out there, the firearm is clear. We're going to pull the slide back slightly, put your two takedown pins down, take your slide off. As you're disassembling everything, I like to put everything and nice kind of clean uniformed areas so you can kind of keep everything organized. Your barrel, take your factory Glock brush, just add a few drops of cleaner to it. You don't need a lot of cleaner throughout the whole entire process. I watch people use a lot and they, they grossly overuse. You can, you can take the brush off you can add a patch right here to your factory uh, patch slot. This little uh, factory cleaning rod is really all you need. Everyone really thinks you need, you know, a big old fancy cleaning kit with all these different sizes and all these different brushes. Realistically, you guys, one of these Glock, uh, the factory Glock cleaning rod, a couple of Q-tips, some odds and ends and you're good. I'm gonna push that through until it's clean. Give it a couple of sweeps, you guys. It's pretty clean. If you, if you notice a lot of carbon, do a couple more cleans or a couple more passes, add a little bit more cleaner. This patch is gonna be dry and that's because you don't want a lot of oil anywhere in your firearm or any firearm for that matter some like an AK may like to run a little dirty or a little wet but it really doesn't matter I'm gonna take a brush and after adding a couple of drops of oil you can clean your feed ramp and you can kind of get a little bit into your chamber there brush off the exterior of the barrel with some oil real simple take a, a paper towel wipe it off there's not much to it. So after you clean your barrel, your, your barrel spring, you don't want to put any oil on this. Just do a simple brush on it. This is all stainless steel, and so it's not going to corrode. You just want to brush off any carbon or dirt, maybe some pocket lint, anything that may have gotten into your firearm if this is like maybe a concealed carry. It doesn't take a lot to clean this. It's naturally designed to, to function without oil on it, so don't worry about it. Literally, as simple as that. If you had an air gun, you could just blow it off a little bit. Now, your lower, you're not going to want to add a lot of oil onto this. If you wanted to add a little bit of oil onto some Q-tip and get down into like the little nitty gritty and the nooks and the crannies in here, you can. But for just a generic clean, a brush, if you're just gonna get in here and just kinda get a brush down into some of these areas. Just get any, uh, any spots where, again, where pocket lint may have built up, if it's your concealed carry or your duty firearm. It really doesn't take a lot to clean the, the lower on a, on a Glock pistol. We're just trying to knock out any of the big material. After you're done brushing that out, Grab yourself a paper towel. I'm gonna get down in there, clean as much of that out as I can. Dry off any oil you may have had left on your brush. You can take a Q-tip and try and clear out anything that you may have knocked off a little bit. Again, going back to an air compressor, just blow it out, real simple. It doesn't take a lot to clean the lower on your Glock pistol. It takes a significant amount of material to obstruct and cause a failure. So you don't, this isn't something you need to take apart um, and do every single time. You can take it apart by pushing these lower takedown pins. 
and, and take your whole trigger assembly out. But be warned, this is polymer, and so doing that significantly uh, a lot of times, you can actually whop out the holes and the pins can float a little bit more freely. So ideally, I like to take those out as little as possible until I need a really deep clean, like every couple of years, as you notice, anything seriously is building up in there. So don't put too much thought, don't let it preoccupy your time too much. Okay, so now, now as we're focusing on the upper, your whole slide, it's really easy to disassemble it. So right here, we need to take a little bit of pressure off, off of the, uh, the striker and firing pin assembly. So you can just kind of push, there's a little piece of plastic in there. Just push down a little bit, it doesn't take a lot. Just take that rear slide off and I'm gonna keep my hand on that. Take out the, uh, the whole firing pin assembly. Your case plunger spring. All right, so to take out your extractor, all you have to do is put a little pressure on this pin right here and your extractor falls out. There is a spring in there, so be careful that you don't lose that. It's a little guy, and it's actually turned sideways in my firearm. So again, just to show you how sensitive it is. So that little spring right there. So from here, it's really easy to clean the whole slide. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil on a Q-tip, and too much, you, you wanna make sure that we're not leaving a lot of oil residue anywhere. Clean the rails on it. Get into all the little pockets where the carbon's gonna build up. And anywhere where your Q-tip with oil is going to be, you're gonna put a couple of dry ones in there because again, we wanna clean as much of the oil out. We're just putting a nice light little protecting layer on the, uh, on the metal. Metal is naturally porous. And so you don't have to leave it sopping wet on there. It'll naturally kind of hold just enough that as long as you're cleaning your firearm regularly, it's not gonna rust, you're not gonna have any failures. The Glock's design, it doesn't need to be sopping wet for it to run. If you're, if you're putting huge drops of oil into your firearm to keep it operating, um, then you're either running garbage ammunition, your firearm needs a, a really good clean. You might possibly have a part loose or something broken, something that's you're really needing to, to free up a lot more of the friction than normal. Um, the guns are designed to run without sopping amounts of oil in there like some people think. Most rifles for that matter too. Now, to piece everything back together, we're gonna do it in reverse. Make sure that you put your little spring back in here to keep it from falling out. Just put the slide, hold it vertically. Push it down a little bit. Put your extractor back in. Just put your firing pin assembly back in, your case feed plunger back in. I'm just gonna push down very gently to get that started. Put it back together. Now assembly is a breeze from here. So after your lower and your upper are clean, put your barrel back in. your return spring in there. Now make sure it mates up nice and smooth. I would like to test to make sure your return springs and everything are in good working order and you're golden. So pretty simple.